What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the three Selkie finalists and uh, who I think should win the award. Uh, obviously, Anze Kopitar, Patrice Bergeron, and John of the Taves. No, this is not a broken record. Yes, those were the three finalists last year as well. Obviously, three very good uh, defensive forwards. Ironically, only one of them is in the playoffs right now, but that's uh, you know neither here nor there. I I think in, in Kopitar's case, the fact he's a minus in the season, and, uh, you know, I'm not huge on plus minus, but eh, I don't know how you can fit him on his team defense when you're minus. But, again, definitely, you, you look at the everything else going on in LA this season, you, it's hard to fault him, and I thought him and Doughty were phenomenal. I think Doughty should be a Norris finalist. I've said that before. I'll say it again, but that's in the hand all there. I watch Bergeron play pretty much every game. Um, not that I don't want the other teams to play, but you know, you look at Bergeron's ability to win faceoffs consistently, and uh, you know just how you know great an all-around player he is. Tough to come out against him, um, but I got to go with Taves in circumstance. The Blackhawks were one of the be were the best defensive team in hockey this season. Taves was an anchor on that team, and um, it, technically, if I had to give the Selkie to any Chicago Blackhawk, it would be Hosa, but obviously he's not finalist because. They don't vote for wingers for the Selkie, because I don't know why. I guess we have to be a center. Unwritten rule, apparently. Um, but, you know, I just think you look at the way he backchecks. And, again, nobody backchecks better than Hosa. He is an absolute just dog back there and, you know, can really, uh, I don't know, dog, junkyard dog. In terms of, you know, ways he's able to steal the puck. Um, and, you know, really disrupt scoring chances against and, you know, just be an absolute menace. Uh, you know, and the, when, when Hosa, when you turn the puck over to Mary Hosa, he's pretty good at creating scoring chances too. One of the better, uh, you know, players in the league. And, you know, you look at what Taves has done this season, you know, you look at the, the two way contributions, he, he's awesome. I mean, he wins faceoffs, you know, he. he Consistently puts you know decent points. He's twenty third in the league in scoring this year, which with sixty six points, you know, goes to show you how low scoring's fallen. But you know, again, he's just a phenomenal, phenomenal hockey player, and you know, big reason why the Chicago Blackhawks are back to being a relevant franchise after you know decades of relevancy. You know, they're the hot, they're one of the hottest teams in sports. You know, two championships in the last five years. They're not, they're not done yet. They look like they're gonna put away Nashville. And Octaves has emerged as one of the, the faces of the league in his two-way game is a big reason why. So, gun on my head, I say Taves wins his second career Selkie Trophy this year and, uh, you know, continues to show why he's one of the best players in the world. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But I don't have an issue with the three finals, so to speak, but I just think it's ludicrous that it's all centers every year. And I understand it's the most important defensive position, Amongst the forwards, but you know, there's some pretty good defensive wingers in the league, and it's time for the league to start giving credit. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all I got some sort of the power play with CJ on the three Selkie finalists. Stay tuned for episodes for the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.